Welcome! This video will guide you through the disassembly, repair, and reassembly of the Viking Pump Packed General Purpose Internal Gear Pump. This series includes the following Viking Pump models. As always, consult the applicable technical service manual for important safety information before you begin. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. You may require the following tools for disassembly and repair. SAE wrenches, a packing hook, and a soft-headed hammer. A complete listing of tools and part numbers can be found in the service manual. For newer pumps, seal kit and repair kit part numbers can be found on a hang tag on the pump. For older pumps, or if the tag has been removed, contact your local authorized Viking Pump distributor with the model and serial number of the pump to obtain these part kit numbers. The seal kit includes replacement packing, head gaskets, packing gland, packing retainer washer, and associated hardware. The repair kit includes a replacement idler and bushing assembly, head and pin assembly, casing bushing, and associated hardware. Take care when opening the kit so as not to cut or damage these repair parts. Keep the pump and work area as clean as possible. Drain the pump of any residual liquid. Turning the shaft will help expel any liquid trapped in the gear teeth. Mark the head and casing before disassembly to ensure proper reassembly. Remove the head cap screws. Note that G-size pumps may require removal of the relief valve to access these cap screws. Remove the head by tilting it backward to prevent the idler from falling off the idler pin. Remove the packing gland to expose the packing. Use a packing hook to take out the packing. The rotor and shaft assembly can now be removed from the pump. A soft-headed hammer may be needed to tap on the end of the shaft for removal. Take care in removing the rotor and shaft to avoid damaging the casing bushing. Remove the packing retainer washer. Inspect pump parts for wear particularly critical parts such as the idler pin, bushings, gears, and casing. Note, Q, M, and N size pumps use thrust washers that need to be removed and examined for wear. These thrust washers are located on the hub of the rotor and the casing end of the rotor bearing sleeve. Replace any worn components. It's recommended not to reuse packing unless you've been instructed to do so by Viking Pump or your authorized Viking Pump distributor. Clean the rotor hub and casing bore. Make sure both are free of dirt and grit. Install bushing into casing. Bushings with lubrication grooves should be installed with the groove at the top or 12 o'clock position. Carbon graphite bushings require extreme care to avoid breaking the bushing during installation. For carbon graphite bushings, use a lubricant and make certain that the bushing is started straight. Use a press to completely install the bushing in one continuous motion. Starting and stopping will crack the bushing. Lubricate the inner diameter of the shaft bushing and shaft. Slide the rotor shaft assembly into the casing.
Place the head gaskets on the head. To ensure adequate gasket sealing, make sure that the first and last gaskets placed on the head are the brown paper gaskets. The proper amount of head gaskets must be used to provide the necessary end clearance for the pump. Check your technical service manual for the standard end clearance and the typical number of gaskets used on your pump size. Reinstall the head and idler gear, ensuring proper location of the pin and crescent. The idler pin, which is offset in the pump head, must be positioned toward the port connections and spaced an equal distance between them to allow proper flow of liquid through the pump. Tighten the head cap screws evenly. Use a feeler gauge to check the end clearance of the pump. If the end clearance is not correct, add or remove gaskets in order to get the proper end clearance. Repeat this process until the pump has the proper clearance. Once the end clearance is set correctly, the pump should have no appreciable end play but still turn freely. Place the packing retainer washer over the shaft and install the new packing. Lubricate the packing rings to aid with assembly. Stagger the packing ring joints from one side of the shaft to the other to make sure there is no direct leak path through the packing. A length of pipe will help to seat each packing ring. Install the packing gland cap screws and nuts. Some pump sizes use a split packing gland that requires two clips. Slide the clips over the ends of the packing gland. Do not over tighten the cap screws. On startup of the pump, carefully tighten the gland to reduce leakage until the desired rate of leakage is obtained. A small amount of leakage during the break in period is necessary to help lubricate and cool the packing. The maximum recommended adjustment at one time is one-eighth of a turn. If during this period heating occurs, back off on the gland and allow the pump to run until the stuffing box cools, then begin readjustment. The pump should leak at least a few drops a minute to make sure that the packing is adequately lubricated. Your Viking pump packed general purpose internal gear pump is fully repaired and ready to put back into service. If you still have any questions regarding this or other Viking Pump products, please contact your local authorized Viking Pump distributor or visit us on the web at vikingpump.com. Thank you.